Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I just got off work right now. I'm super tired, but I'm gonna spend some time working on the car. As you know, this is a project car. I only work on it on like maybe weekends and maybe sometimes after work, like today. Um, and right now, since the weather is getting super cold, it's actually really difficult to be working in the garage because my garage is not really heated. It, it's, it's, it is as it is. It's, it's actually freezing in here right now. Um, but I want to get the rest repair or at least get it prepped so that I can start welding everything in place. Um, so today we're actually going to be making some of the, the pieces of metal, uh, I guess the panels that I've cut out. So we're just going to be fabricating some of that with sheet metal and then I'll just go through the process with you. So I'm just going to get change out of these clothes um, and then we're just going to get to work. So let's get to it. So I basically crafted up a piece of uh inner wheel arch kind of thing with a piece of cardboard. So I drew it um, and I used this rocker, um, my spare rocker, which I've cut already, um, and kept matching it up to make sure that this fits. So this is basically the shape and outline of it. Um, and then obviously I would uh, make the, the piece of cardboard a little bit bigger because it has to wrap around a little bit. So. And then I, I take this as a template. So I take this as a template and I trace it onto here. So as you can see, it starts off like that. And then those are the areas where I have to fold. Obviously I'm gonna have to cut uh, some slots in there so that I can actually bend the metal. But for now, this is what it what the template looks like and then I'm just going to use a wire wheel I mean not a wire wheel but a cutting disc and just cut this out and obviously some shears to kind of trim it up and make it look a little bit better and I'm going to use some dollies and all that to, to fabricate it so I'm just going to get to work and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done all right guys so hours later <laughs> I finally manufactured this inner wheel arch piece uh, I mean it's a whole bunch of hammering and um, cutting and well after I finished manage, managing to shape it the way it is I drilled out a hole here for the spot weld and the hole here for the grommet um, I mean it looks pretty good fits pretty good I'll show you guys how it fits with the, the rocker So this piece basically goes right in here. As you can see, I can I marked it with some lines to where it goes. So I'm just gonna lap weld some of this. Um, metal's thin, so I'm thinking with my flux core, it's gonna it's gonna probably burn through. So yeah. So that basically goes right around here, and then this rocker piece here will fit over later. I'm still waiting for a tool to to come in before I actually weld the rockers in. So I'm just gonna do the inner wheel arch stuff first. Um, so as you can see, it just goes on like that. Um, still gotta line it up properly so that it actually meets up with that uh, jack point. But so far it lines up all right. Um, still need to cut it to shape. So yeah, these are the tools that I've been using. Uh, this is a... Uh, seamer I guess to, to create straight bends uh, it's actually more for straightening metal but I got this just to create the, the bends and then I use a whole bunch of dollies and hammers and all that stuff and just whack 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 as you can see uh, cutting with an angle grinder that thing is amazing just you know can't can't do metal fabbing without that that's for sure and I've, I've been using my Dremel as well just to cut the small areas that I can't get to with the with the the angle grinder. So let's let's continue and get back to work. So here's some cutting. Grinding. Bending.
more bending. And more bending. And even more bending. I'm sure you get the point. Alright guys, so I've completed this piece as well. So I'll show you guys where this piece should, would go. So this is where it goes. Um, yeah, I've bent it to shape, so I'll do some uh, spot welds on the bottom and then uh, uh, lap welding, I guess, the, the surrounding. But it fits perfectly. Um, still gotta cut out the little notch in the, the middle and maybe bend it in a little bit so that I could easily weld it together. Otherwise, it's gonna be a big hole there. Um, but for the most part, that's how it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's how I, I usually fab up these little pieces. It, it actually takes quite a bit of time to do. Um, gotta keep going back and forth and measuring. Um, just like this piece here, um, still gotta cut out a little bit on some notch on the corner of here so that um, when I flange the inside this will lay flat and then this part I'll just butt weld um, this corner so but for the most part this is done and this is done so this side's almost complete uh, it's a lot of work doing this rust repair way more work than doing like an engine swap all right guys so the next step here is I'm going to have to mock up uh, the the rocker piece that I have to match up with the cut lines here, or I might cut some of this off so that it lines up a little better. But um, for now, uh, you can see that it is cut like in a zigzag motion, or not a zigzag motion, but you can see that it is cut in a zigzag pattern all the way down here. Um, so I may want to even some of this out so it's less cutting on the the rocker piece that I'm going to put on here. So it may be, I might just cut this flat and then go all the way down. I'm um, not really sure yet. Um, but you know, obviously I want to save as much metal as possible. So I might even just do the zigzag and put it in there. Because either way I'm going to have to body fill it. So first things first is what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark how it lines up on on here first. Um, so let's get a, where's the towel? Cause it's pretty dirty there. So let's clean this off a little bit so that I can get some room to work with. Next bit piece is this, is the rocker that I've cut out from the whole long piece. So I'm only, I'm only going to replace basing this piece here. So uh, let's get some gloves so I don't rip the blue ones. So I'm going to start off by lining it up first. So you just lay it right on top of how it's going to sit. I think it's going to sit like that. body line here matches. This sits pretty flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna mark it up. Next, I'm gonna get some paper. Basically, I'm gonna trace these lines out and transfer them onto here. And the only way to do that is by putting a sheet of paper on here.
up all the little lines in here, so that's pretty self-explanatory. So that's traced out. Now I'm just going to take this and tape it onto this. So that's kind of transferred on here. So I'm just gonna outline it in a, with a, a black marker. So I'm still contemplating whether I'm going to uh, seam this piece of metal and tuck it in, or if I'm gonna seam this metal and then lay this on top. Either way works, but um, I'm just trying to put the best method. I may just see this as it may get outside of the car already, it's easier, but I have to wait for my seamer tool. For now, this is I've just kind of outlined everything so that I'm ready to kind of cut. This area here will need to be butt welded for sure. So one of the things I'm gonna have to do is probably chop some more off of the body of the car so that this lines up with that and then I can flushly just pack it together there. So if I weld it together. But this would only be the only area I think. So basically cut a slit right here and then cut weld that. And then I can probably um, create the, the seam here and tuck it right under. So another thing that you really have to clean out is back here in the rocker, there is this, I guess, tar-like pad thing. Um, it covers up this whole area uh, that I cut out. So what I did was I had to kind of clean it out. I mean, I'm not wor too worried about the edges and everything because I could just get in there with a, a grinder or a, a sanding disc and just sand it all down so that it's to the bare metal and get rid of some, any of that tar. But for the most part, I had to get rid of a good chunk of it first. So I got a basically a X-Acto knife and I just cut along here, used my heat gun and uh, softened it up and used my screwdriver and just started scraping it out. So that's the only way to, for me, uh, Get it all out, and then I, I cleaned it up with a little bit of a goo gone, uh, so that a lot of the residue is kind of gone off of here. Um, since this piece or the new rocker is going to be lapping, we don't want any of this crap back here because it's going to lap, and it would either be too thick, and we won't even be able to seam this. Um, so yeah, I decided to just kind of go ahead and do that and uh, so far it looks looks all right so hopefully this this works out uh... anyways guys that's all for now there'll be more coming soon if you haven't already please subscribe
As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.